After nearly four years, traffic is again moving across the Willamance Bridge between Chicopee and Holyoke. The bridge reopened late this afternoon. 22 News reporter Cy Becker found out how the years of reconstruction impacted businesses on both sides of the Connecticut River. Fiore Santaniello, the owner of Capri Pizza Shop on Cabot Street, half a block from the bridge, told 22 News he lost more than a half million dollars over the last four years. It was a struggle, but he was determined to remain open. We are family-run pizza shop. A lot of my employees didn't get no races. We, uh, you know, had a little money saved up, so... That's how we survive. Across the street, the owner of Sea Town Food Store also had to tighten his belt. Tony Diaz said he lost between twenty to thirty thousand dollars every week. The bridge was closed. Cutbacks, laying off employees, unfortunately, you know, cutting down hours, you know, and just you know, keeping less inventory, trying to to cut corners everywhere. Both owners believe it will be a while before business returns to the levels before the bridge closed. On the Chickabee side, the owners of Ludwin Oil and Tire never actually tallied their losses. We were pretty good on the oil business because, you know, we didn't have to be here. We could rely on phone calls. But as far as the uh, repair work and, and the tire work, it, it cut into our business. Now that the bridge has reopened, the Ludwins want to be positive about the future. As co-owner Robert Ludwin expressed his optimism. We survived it. We'll be all right. In Chicopee and Holyoke, Cy Becker, 22 News.